Hi everyone, so today I have a really fun fashion video for you guys. I'm going to show you four different outfits and basically the thought around this was I wanted to do a day to night fashion video because they're really fun for me and I think they're helpful also from kind of transitioning your outfits from daytime to the nighttime. But then I started thinking that it's getting cold here in Texas but in a lot of places it's already a lot cooler. So I decided to do four outfits and two of them are going to be just a simple day to night. And then the other two are going to be a day tonight, but they're going to be kind of focused around staying warm and being warmer as it gets colder. And obviously, when it gets later, it gets a little bit colder for the most part. So that's kind of like what the second group of outfits are focused around. So I hope that makes sense, and I'll kind of explain it again once I show you the outfits. But if you want to know where any of the pieces are from, you can feel free to check out my Chick Approve page, which will be linked below, which I post my outfits on, and I put like link where um you know like this jacket is from, the scarf, whatever, and all that information. So you can find that there and let me know if you guys are enjoying these fashion videos I had a really fun time filming this one and I hope you guys enjoy so I'm gonna go ahead and just get started and let's get into the outfits so the two items of clothing I'm starting off with are this white button-down blouse which I got from modcloth.com and I really love it it was one of my more expensive tops but I think it's a great investment piece because it has a really nice shape as you can see it has a little tie in the back and then a little bit of ruffling at the hips and then really pretty button detailing all the way down the blouse. Then I have on just a black bandage skirt, which I got from Forever 21, and then black tights. So these are the key pieces that I'm going to use in creating my outfits today, and I think everyone should have these in their wardrobe, and if you don't, you can easily find them at many different stores for many different prices. So I'm going to go ahead and just get started with the outfit. So here is my rack of clothing that I'm going to be using for today's video. And as you can see, I have all the outfits laid out here. So first, I'm actually going to start from the day to night look, um, just for mild weather, not the colder weather one. So first, I'm going to do to make this outfit a little bit more daytime appropriate and kind of dress it down a little bit because the top is silky and is a little bit fancy because of the buttons and everything. I'm going to be taking this really pretty olive green um, cotton blazer, and this is actually from Forever 21. It's one of my favorite pieces that I own because I love the um, like kind of the pointed hemline on it. And I also really love the color. It's great for fall, and it goes with a lot of different things, but it's not black or navy. It's something a little bit um, more casual. So I'm going to slip this blazer on for you guys. Now I'm going to leave the sleeves kind of tucked up like this. Just so you can see the edge of it, but I'm not going to pull the sleeves fully down. Because I think that gives it a little bit more of a laid back vibe for the daytime. So as you can see, this blazer has an absolutely wonderful fit. I love the little hemline like this. I think it's just so flattering. And it just looks like that. Now as far as accessories, of course we need a little bit of accessorizing to this outfit. I'm first going to take this necklace that I believe I got from Forever 21 as well. And it kind of has that rocker grunge style, which I think is really cute. And it works really well with the white blouse because this is so feminine and tailored. Something that throws it off a little bit is a great piece. So I'm going to go ahead and put this on. So as you can see, the necklace also falls in a great shape because it kind of hits right where the V of my top is. And then, of course, you need a little bracelet because the blazer is a crop style one and your um, wrists are showing. So I'm using this studded bracelet that I got from lulus.com. It matches really nicely with the necklace, and I think it's just cute and it's easy. It's just a cuff. Now, as far as shoes, you have a few different options depending on what you're doing. Um, right now, I just have on some black flats, but I'm actually going to switch into these black lace-up kind of... Um, booty type shoes and I really like that they have kind of this crisscrossing and all of this detail right here that's kind of cut out and the laces. They're kind of edgy and they're cute but they're black so they will blend into my um, tights that I already have on. So I'm going to put these on and let you see the full outfit. Okay so now I have the shoes on. I'm going to try to tilt the camera down so you can see those a little bit better. Leave me a comment and let me know what some of your favorite fall colors are besides black and navy. I am absolutely loving army green and the detailing on these really cool booty lace-up shoes. So I'm going to give you guys a quick view of the outfit in the mirror. 
And then hopefully you can see the shoes. So now to dress up this outfit, I have a few things that I picked up. First, I'm going to be using this sparkly vest. That is one of my favorite items that I own, and I believe I got this from a boutique a long time ago. But you can find similar sparkly items for the holiday time anywhere at like a bunch of different stores from more expensive to Forever 21, um, H&M, everything in between. But I love this vest. It's so pretty with all the silver sparkly detailing. And this is not going to keep you warm, but it definitely will dress up this simple uh, white blouse. So I'm going to go ahead and put this on. And for shoes, I'm going to keep it simple by pairing my favorite black ASOS wedges just because they will blend in nicely with my tights and won't take away from like the vest which is what I really want to be the center of the outfit. Now for accessories I'm pairing it with this necklace which is a layered chain necklace by the designer Layla Rowe and I love that this has the gold and the cream colors because the bag that I'm actually going to be pairing with this outfit um, has both of those colors in it so I think this ties together all of the colors really nicely and I also love the draping effect that it gives and for my purse you guys probably guessed which one it was I'm actually going to be using my white quilted ASOS bag with the um, gold and white chain because again it matches the little necklace and it's just really pretty and girly so overall this is the more formal outfit the little heels now I actually wore this outfit out and when you take pictures it sparkles like no other and it's so pretty so I definitely recommend trying to find a similar vest top like this that you can pair over things and I absolutely love these wedges they're so comfortable. And you can see this makes a great entrance from the back which I really love. And here is the awkward full body shot. Okay, so these next two outfits are going to be focused on day to night, but this time it's going to be if you need to be warm and you need something that will keep you warm throughout the day and night time. So, for the first outfit, I'm going to take this vest, which is kind of like a green color. It has a little bit of like a mustard yellow in it too, and it's like a knitted fabric. And I actually got this from Forever 21. You can find these at a lot of different stores as well. They're just a very kind of in style, and they're great pieces for layering. So I'm going to go ahead and put this on. And this actually comes with a little tie, so you can kind of cinch it up, and I'm actually going to. You don't have to. You could just leave it open, but I think it kind of adds a little bit if it is kind of cinched up. It just makes the outfit look a little bit different. So that is what the kind of thick um, knitted vest looks like on. And then I'm going to be taking these maroon um, knee-high stockings. Now these will keep your legs a little bit warmer, and they're kind of a cute fashion statement to make underneath boots. And then for shoes, I'm taking my favorite Colin Stewart riding boots. I'm going to put these on over my knee socks. And then since I have a lot of textures and colors going on, I don't really need that many accessories, but I'm going to put on this gold and black cuff. So overall, this is the outfit. Hopefully you guys can see the little knee socks. I'm going to go ahead and tilt the camera down so you guys can see, because it's really cute how they kind of peek out the top of the boots. Okay, so I bet when you first saw the sweater vest you thought it was really ugly, but I can show you that it's actually really cute when paired correctly, and I absolutely love the maroon knee-high socks. They're so pretty and cute, and you can't really see the detail, but they have little ruffles at the top. And here's a full body shot. Okay, now for the nighttime look. Obviously, I'm going to be a little bit warmer, so I'm going to put on this black leather jacket, and I believe this is purchased from lulus.com. I'm also going to add some black leather boots that have a little bit of a heel but are pretty high up so they should keep your legs warm. You could also do the same sock look with this look if you wanted to. You could have like a little bit of a colored sock peeking out. And then I'm going to add my infinity scarf that I bought from Nordstrom's and it's this really pretty gray color and this will definitely keep you warm. Now this definitely adds a lot to the outfit and you don't have to wear a necklace so you're good on accessories 
and overall you can see that the gray makes a really nice contrast with all the black that you have going on in the rest of the outfit. But if you'd like to, you can go ahead and throw on a cuff or a bangle or something. I'm going to be using the one I used earlier that is kind of this metallic studded one. So just if your sleeves ever go up, you have a pretty little cuff on. But this is the overall warm night outfit. And I'll go ahead and tilt you down so you guys can see the boots. Leave me a comment and let me know if you guys like the Infinity Scarf look. I really used to dislike them, but now I think they're kind of cute and of course they're practical for when it's colder out because they will definitely keep you warm. They also kind of take the place of a necklace so you don't have to really worry about any accessories. And here is just another look at the boots. With the stud detailing, which I really like. And then a full body shot because this is so much easier than using my camera to do this.